Meanwhile, many families celebrate Labor Day with a picnic or a trip to the pool, but some come back year after year to take to the skies with their feet firmly on the ground. 3 News Now reporter John Brown talked to the avi aviation buffs called the Omahawks. I fly planes because it's, you know, it's just a joy for me to not only fly them, but to build them. Fred Wilkie has been flying what he calls unusual planes since the 1980s. Dozens of remote control planes flew high in the skies, not far from Standing Bear Lake. Those unusual planes refer to model aircraft, sport planes, jets, and more. For 44 years, the Labor Day Air Show hosted by the Omaha's RC Airplane Club has been gracing the skies of Omaha. It's been an honor and a privilege just to fly and, and watch people, uh, especially the kids, how excited they get when they see some of these unusual planes fly. 12-year-old Ethan Hughes stood tall with glasses and a big smile. He's been coming to the show since he learned to fly. I started flying um, when I was five years old. That winter, I was practicing on the simulator in my basement. And then that summer, I started flying with my dad. Ethan's dad, Luke, is the president of the Omaha's RC Airplane Club. He spent much of the day helping other youngsters learn how to maneuver the remote-controlled aircraft. Well, I think it's all about the family, friends, spouses. I mean, you come up here and spend a day in the uh, Omaha parks and uh, have a great time. Whether you flew a plane or not, the club says it's all for camaraderie, to give back and have a great time. At Hawkfield, John Brown, 3 News Now. The event also collects donations from Make-A-Wish. They hope to raise nearly $6,000 for the organization.